It's time for Wrestling for the Culture, where we take a look inside to see what the wrestlers of color have been doing this week. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of Wrestling for the Culture. I am your host, Brian H. Waters. This show is, of course, brought to you by the Wrestling Realm, where you know you can find all the content of superior wrestling intellect from myself and the real Dwayne Allen. So, as you know, Wrestling for the Culture, we are coming in to the close of Black History Month. So we're going to continue to celebrate our wrestlers of color. But before we do so, I got to do some housekeeping. Let you know where you can follow us. Make sure you are subscribed right here on YouTube at The Wrestling Realm. Or you might be in your car in iTunes or Google Play or Spotify, Stitcher. You know it. You can follow us there. But make sure you are following and engaging with us on Twitter at Wrestling Realm. Same with Facebook. Go to the Facebook fan page by going to the Wrestling Realm. So let's get started. Recently, the African American wrestlers all got together down at NXT and took a couple of photos. And as Montez Ford tweeted out, Mama, we made it. So you see that there's always this talk about the WWE has not had a black WWE champion. Now, I know I do a show called Wrestle for the Culture. So, me, people may think that I have a whole list of African American wrestlers that I felt should have wore WWE Championship gold. Well, I'm on the difference with that one, and that will come up in a couple of shows down the line. But, here's my question to you. And I want you to tweet me. I want you to comment on YouTube or Facebook. Let me know. Is the next African-American champion in one of these photos? We do believe that it's possible that Kofi Kingston could do it soon. So, let's say he does and say he doesn't. But, just as strictly as far as NXT, we'll say this. Is the next NXT African-American champion in one of these photos? We know that... Big E Langston, at the time he was named, he was uh, NXT champion, so only time will tell. But let's get right into it. Speaking of NXT and new champion, we have a brand new NXT North American champion, and his name is the Velveteen Dream. He made the dream over for Johnny Gorgano this past Wednesday on NXT when he defeated him. We do remember he won the World WWE Worlds Collide tournament to earn him a title shot of his choosing. I like this that it wasn't necessarily just going after the World Championship. We already know what happened. He lost to um, Tomasa Ciampa. So, it made sense. Go after the NXT North American Champion. He did it, and that is why he is your champion. Staying right there. So, we saw Mia Yim this past week defeat Zia Lee, and then afterwards was attacked by the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. Wow. So, what's going on now? So, they did make it official. Next week on NXT, we will see, or I should say this week coming up, we will see Mia Yim take on Baszler. These two have history. We, You may remember, in the first May Young Classic, it was Baszler who put out Yim to advance a tournament that she would advance all the way to the end before she fell in the finals. So, moving on. So, WWE announced that they were going to have some debuts on the main roster. And I apologize that you can't see the guy who made his debut um, in this photo. But his name is Ricochet. As he was on Raw and SmackDown this past week. And I'm confused. I said this on Break It Down with Brian H. Is Ricochet, Aleister Black... Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gorgano, are they on the main roster permanently? Or is it just a kind of a working because they're great workers that they'll be doing both? We'll see. I do know there's a clip out there of Alistair Black giving his farewell to NXT. I would have loved to see Ricochet become the NXT champion. However, 
he could do so much more on the main roster. But this past week, he did, him and Finn Balor defeated Lashley and Leo Rush. Yes, they made up like I figured they would. And then Ricochet in a one-on-one -on -one match defeated Eric Young. So coming up immediately impressing everybody. Moving on to SmackDown, Kofi Kingston defeated Daniel Bryan with him, AJ Styles, and Jeff Hardy defeated the heels that was in the Elimination Chamber match. That is Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, and Samoa Joe. But as you can see right there, it was Kofi pinning Bryan. One, two, three, and afterwards, Shane McMahon would name Kofi Kingston the number one contender for the WWE Championship. And it will be Kofi versus Daniel Bryan at Fastlane. Folks, WrestleMania doesn't have a clear cut title picture. Yeah, there's rumors that Kevin Owens is going to come back. But then, if you believe the dirt sheets, there were also rumors that said Daniel Bryan, Vince McMahon, believes maybe he's kind of thinking about putting the title on Kingston. So only time will tell, folks. So, big news this Monday. Monday Night Raw, we will see Roman Reigns appear as he will give an update. So, as always, our prayers go out for Roman, and I would love for him to announce that he's defeated leukemia. Maybe he won't, but hopefully we will find out. So, let's move on to the independence because we got a lot of information. So, this past week at Bar Wrestling, we saw SoCal Uncensored defeat the carnies so congratulations to them also participated it was a big old tournament and this is what socal and Sensor, scorpio sky represent for the culture right there they won but also who participated was d'lo brown willie mack and eric watts was around there as well so definitely good to see them doing it for the culture let's move on to women's wrestling revolution we saw the B, uh, the Bird and the B, Solo Darling and Willow Nightingale defeat Alley Cat and Veda Scott. And then in the singles match, we saw Sonya Strong defeat Carissa Rivera. So congratulations to Sonya Strong on her win. Moving on to New Japan Ring of Honor, um, we saw you know good. Uh, saw a, another good show right there where Jonathan Gresham and Toa Hanari defeated Taka Michinoku and Zack Sabre Jr. Two legends right there. Um, Jonathan Gresham, man, if you do not know, go watch his match. He's just one of the best out there, and I don't think a lot of people talk about how great a wrestler he is. Moving on, Jay Lethal, of course, retaining his Ring of Honor World Championship as he defeated TKO Ryan. And then we crown new tag IWGP tag team champions as the Gorilla De of Gorillas of Destiny, Tama Tonga and Tonga Lao would regain their titles, defeating Evil and Sonata. So congratulations to them. So gotta give a huge congratulations to Janai Kai and she earned an opportunity to wrestle at the next Rise event after being awarded at a seminar that was held by Mick Foley and, also, and Blue Pants or Leva Bates. So congratulations to her. Moving on to One Factory Wrestling. Great show. A lot of wrestlers put on for the culture. Unfortunately, I didn't get a match graphics for every match, but I did get some, but I definitely got the results. Shout out to them for getting them to me. I appreciate it. And we'll start with Fred Yeha defeating Chad Skywalker. Bishop King defeating Alan Angels and Baron Black in a triple threat match. And we saw Lamar Diggs defeat Leo Pride. Aja Pereira and Ravina Zinn defeat um, Dara Destiny and Thunder Blonde. And the champion himself, Elijah Evans, retained his world title when he defeated Cody Vance. So, shout out to One Fall Factory Wrestling. 
moving on at Cape Championship Wrestling, we saw Tootie Lynn Ramsey defeat Cassandra Bolden to retain her women's championship. And then we move on to, you remember the legend Gangrel? You may remember him from The Brood. Well, he opened up his own promotion. It's called Gangrel Wrestling Asylum. Putting on for the culture there, Barrington Hughes, where he defeated Flex Magnum. Now, let's move on to AAW. AA Pro Wrestling presents The Art of War. So, there we saw Jacob Fatu defeat Stephen Wolf. And then the Rascals, Desmond Xavier, Trey, Trey Miguel, and Zachary Wentz defeating Ace Romero, Paco, and Richard Swan. And then we crown new tag team champions as the Latin America Exchange Ortiz and Santana defeated Firefox and the Lucha Brothers. This, of course, coming after the Young Bucks invaded and just beat up the Lucha Brothers. So, congratulations to them. And then, we're going to round it out. You may have saw this picture on the graphic. So, Georgia Premier Championship Wrestling, of course, is putting on for the culture. As you can see right there, they hold all the belts at GPW, as Jackson Castle tweeted. The Southern States Heavyweight Champion is the hybrid Jackson Castle. The Tag Team Champions, the Syndicate, Elijah Evans and TJ Boss. And the new Cruiserweight Champion, the remarkable Ryan Rembrandt. He just won the title. So that right there, folks, is Black's Black Excellence. If you don't know what Black Excellence is, make sure you check out Georgia Premier Championship Wrestling and you will definitely find out. So let's move on to Black Wrestling Alliance presents New Gold. Well, I should say Black Gold. But before we get there, you know, my guy over there, shout out to A Dazzle. Make sure you check out the page at Black Wrestling Alliance on Instagram. And also make sure you check out the interview I had with him a couple weeks ago. But he let us know that last week, MVP, former WWE Intercontinental Champion and United States Champion. Um, I believe he was Intercontinental Champion. I know somebody's going to correct me if I got that wrong. Um, but I definitely know IWGP Intercontinental Champion. And I definitely know he was one of the best United States Champions. But he was afforded the opportunity to speak at Yale University. And as Eddie Dazzle put from jail to Yale, everybody knows MVP spent some time in prison. And then came out and made a better life for himself so shout out to him and getting this opportunity to go to Yale Law School so now we move on as the French wrestler Christanium becomes a double champion after winning the WPE championship adding to the APC championship that he won back in December and then rounding it out Darion Drummond is the new Stampede Alternative Champion. He's also a former Continental Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champion. So, congratulations to him. And as I said, make sure you check out the Black Wrestling Alliance on Instagram at Black Wrestling Alliance. Just go to Instagram. You can also follow uh, A Dazzle on Twitter and at Black Wrestling, was it Black Wrestling A, I believe, and make sure you check out the Facebook fan page. So, folks, make sure you tune in to Break It Down with Brian H. each and every week. Um, big news coming up regarding the wrestling realm. I'm gonna just leave it at that, but you will definitely want to be tuned in. Make sure you catch me. I'm doing some bookings, so I, you know my book's filling up. I got some appearances that I'm not gonna reveal just yet, but just know that I will be in more places than right here on Break It Down with Brian H and the Wrestling for the Culture. Um, so, like I said, this is for you. Send me in the results. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate um, One Fall 
uh, uh, factory um, one fall factory wrestling sending in the results um, I might just butcher the name I apologize but I appreciate 1FW sending in their results after a re- I requested them and I just heard I didn't get the full but I did see on Facebook that my boy Keith Mack has finally been put on so finally the syndicate they put Keith Mack on He's a good asset to the team. So I'm glad it happened. Make sure you check out my interview with him. And then also, last week, I had an interview with Ruthless Lala, which I'm mad that she missed her flight, so she didn't get to Texas this past week. But make sure you check out that interview right here on the Wrestling Realm. And check out everything, folks. So, until the next time, I'm Brian H. Waters. Follow us, subscribe, engage. So long, everybody. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Wrestling for the Culture. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe down below and make sure you check out other content brought to you by myself and the real Dwayne Allen.